far. We sure appreciate you being here today with us. Today, I'd like to start this video off by saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We have over 200 subscribers. It was a year ago on February 1st, I put my first video out um, with this little one in mind, a kind of a video journal for the grandchildren. And 200 of you like it enough to subscribe and be notified when new videos come out. So for that, we do appreciate you. Today, I thought we would make some soft pretzels. I posted soft Amish soft pretzels on Facebook and got a lot of requests for a video. Uh, as well as um, some requests from family and friends that are local. So we hope you enjoy it. We're gonna bring you in and get started. Okay, now we have you in for a closer look. At least a more aerial view. We'll get started. So to make pretzels, all you're going to need is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two and a quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast. You're gonna need some thick or coarse salt. I'm using Himalayan sea salt to sprinkle on your pretzels before they go into the oven. You're also going to need about three tablespoons of butter, quarter cup of baking soda, and a large pot with six to eight cups of water. That will be for the brine solution that we will be cooking in. Oh, and thank you, Belly. We almost forgot one scant cup of warm water and we're using filtered water. And the scant cup means just a little less than a cup. Warm, you want it at least 98 to 100 degrees, up to about 120 is fine. Easiest thing ever, we're gonna use our electric stand mixer with the dough hook on it. We're gonna have Miss Belly here put all the ingredients inside the bowl. Starting with the liquid first, so your water first. Super, one dump go. Easy, easy, easy. Super, one dump. Super easy, one dump go. Go ahead and add your brown sugar. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing you want to do is add your salt last. Mommy, it will be like a bath bomb. <laughs> and then now you're going to add your yeast. Mm -hmm. And now add your flour. You want to do your salt last. And that way it gives the yeast and warm water and brown so sugar heavy. and flour time to create gluten before the salt hits all that yeast and kind of slows it down a little bit. Good job. Now you put your salt in. Awesome. We're just gonna put that into our mixer. Dough hook, maybe. And then this is going to go on uh, speed two. Um, once all of the ingredients are incorporated and your dough actually forms, you're going to want to then knead it on speed two for anywhere from five to seven minutes. I usually just go for the full seven. So I am going to turn this on as soon as it gets together. Go over here and hit my timer for seven minutes and let it run. And we'll be right back. Lowered it. As you can see, it's 
Nice. Nice though. So what you want to do at this point is just set it out on a floured surface like that and we're going to let it rest about 30 minutes and then we'll come back. You just don't want it to dry out. Let it rise. <laughs> okay, <coughs> we're back. <laughs> it's been actually about 40 minutes because I went ahead and made another batch of dough because I want to try the um, pretzel buns. So, want to cover? Oh. Okay, go ahead and take the dough out. We're going to cut it into eight equal portions. Can I get it? All right, bob it down. Yeah. All right, eight equal portions. You ready? And then we're gonna roll these. Make sure you. We're gonna roll these into balls. Okay. So when I get them um, cut, I'll give them to you. So what I like to do is do fourths. You know, half, 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 half. Roll them in a ball, baby. Me after when I'm done rolling into ball, but I come on here. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you like your little mouth. Ah! Maybe. So <laughs> <laughs> the way Mimi does it is I roll them in on the table. And then just because you just want them to be a little bit of a, they don't gotta be perfect. You just want them to be kind of round because it'll make them easier to roll out. <laughs> That's funny, huh? That could be a pretzel ball. What do you mean? I got a huge one. Yeah, you I got a baby one. <laughs> So we're gonna let those set for about five minutes and then we're gonna shake them into pretzels, God willing. So while those are resting, we are gonna go ahead and turn our oven on 475 degrees. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the highest my oven goes, 475 degrees. Well, if I'm hitting the right button, it might go that high. We wanna start preheating that, so as you can imagine, Actually, I guess my oven goes higher. My oven goes to 500, I apologize. So 475, get that started. We also wanna go ahead and get our water started so that it can come to a boil. So that after it comes to a boil, we add our quarter cup of baking soda and then bring it to a simmer. By then we should have our pretzels twisted. Ready? Mm -hmm. Slap me. Oh, I'll take a fist bump. Go. Okay. <laughs> You're afraid of it. Ready? I'll do it to you. Ready? It wasn't like that. All right. Now let them rest a little bit. Let that gluten relax so that we can. Roll it out. Let's cover these up, Bill. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ready? Uncover your balls. Wait, is it been that time already? It's been five minutes, girlfriend. Let's get our hair back, because ain't nobody want no hairy pretzels. <laughs> Gotta get that long hair back. Get excess flour off. Or you can just stick your hair into your shirt. Yeah, that's like, always a good idea. That's what you do. Stick it into your shirt. <laughs> All right, we're going to grab a ball. I'm going to grab my other one. <laughs> You're going to roll it. I find if I just roll like that, it's easy for me. You're doing good going back and forth, though, huh? Because I pay. And you want to try to you want to try to get it the same 
length or length wait no the same thickness all the way through so that you don't have thin parts of pretzel and fat parts of pretzel like this one <laughs> <laughs> just keep rolling you'll get it yeah you just want to see how many make a long like play-doh you can pull a little bit as you roll too and stretch it <laughs> I did not. That was the table. Yeah, Here, yeah. you crazy child. Let that's me trade you. That's <laughs> the table. Yeah, that's what I meant. You look hard. Hey, look at the side of it. Keep making it longer. No, you gotta make it longer. Mm -hmm. Roll it out. How long are these things gonna be? Gotta roll them out about 22 inches. That's long. Like, that's about. 12, so we gotta go even longer. Yeah. Then see how it's getting puffy there? So roll it out some there. Put your hand there and roll. And as I roll, I'm kind of pulling away. Like I start in the middle and then I pull a little bit as I roll out. So, yeah, I'll say. Because um, see, I can stretch that. That's about long enough. So we'll let it sit there. I'll help you with yours. Ready? Yeah. Don't stretch out anymore. You can start another one if you want. I'm sorry. One here, one there. This one. I think I'm just going to take my flop. Slap so brace it off. off. So you ready? I, so, I about that long. Right? Look, about that long. Okay. Ready? Grab the ends. Make a horseshoe. <laughs> you want to do it with me? Grab yours. <laughs> Let's put our dough balls up here. Okay, you ready? Yes. So you make a horseshoe, right? Yeah. And then, ready? Mm -hmm. You twist it and lay it back down, right? So you can, Mimi does that where I lift it and twist, but yeah, you're doing fine that way. See how it twisted? Mm -hmm. And then once it's twisted, you bring it over and lay it down and it makes a pretzel. Yeah, so. You ready? Mm -hmm. So if you hold your ends okay. and then twist it like this, right? Yeah. So twist it. And then when it's twisted, twist one more time. You can twist more than once if you want. Twist a bunch, but I only do one more time. And then when you hold it out and put your ends, you want to push your ends down and pinch them. Pinch them in there. Pink. Yep, pinch them good so they stay. You want them to stay. And then you have a pretzel. And then those have to rest again. And that's okay because everything back here has got to heat up. <laughs> Look at you! Good job! You just want to make sure your ends are pinched good so that it stays together and you don't have pop and pretzel. Yeah, see, look, Mimi grabs the top and the bottom of the dough and just pinches it in there. No problem. And then you start again. There you go, ready? So, little kid version, ready? Take your loop, hold your end, twist it once, like that, and then twist again the other end and put it down okay so put your ends together twist twist your loop just your loop keep your ends flat we got blowing water ladies and gentlemen off the heat we go Woo! that's hot burn my hair I got it different. You know, put your quarter cup of baking soda in your water. Yeah, I done this different. Be careful because it does bubble. As you're seeing, this is exactly why you take it off of the heat. It's very important. Always take it off the heat. Stir it till that dissolves. You can see my burner is way too high. So we're going to turn that down. Let that burner cool off a minute. And then we'll pop that back over. How are you doing, girl? <laughs> well, we're trying. So you ready? One more time. Horseshoe. Now wait. 
Hold your ends together. Leave that hand still and flip the bottom. There you go. Now, wait. Now grab each end. Pull it down to you. Don't pull it open. Pull it down to you. Pull this one down to you. And twist again. Now, whoop. now hook your ends. There you go. Good job, babe. Just flooding it down. All right. <laughs> I was about to break that one. What's your favorite thing? We're gonna have hair pretzels. No hair pretzels. You have to check your hair in your shirt. I know. I gotta do that, don't I? Okay. Last pretzel belly's finishing. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on the heat. We're gonna bring it up to the simmer. This is what gives the pretzel that pretzel chew. That makes it a pretzel. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let me spin it out just a little bit more. Got a little bit of a, a bubble going on. Okay. Yep. Twist your ends. Nope, twist your ends. Now pull them down. And hook them. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Go, Belly. It's your birthday. Got a pretzel. It's your birthday. See, now you pull your loops like this. And pull your loops. And then don't be afraid to pull on the dough. And then push it and squeeze it. Look at that. What's that? <laughs> Is that a belly pretzel? I love it. I love it. Put it over there. Okay. Now we got to bring everybody over to the stove. It's on the mine. <laughs> okay. I love that pretzel. Okay. It's messed up one. <laughs> oh, it's not messed up. It's perfect. <laughs> Well, hello. hello. So, we have our pretzels, our pretzel dough, and we are going to go ahead and bring this back up to a simmer. Almost there now. And as soon as it comes up to a simmer, we're going to put our pretzels in two at a time, okay? And two at a time, we're going to do 30 seconds on each side. All right, can we do that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Remember that pan is hot. Okay. I'll just put it back a little bit. You just tip up one edge and easy lift it and flip the corner over. There you go, perfect. Perfect, per perfect. Last one, remember always away from you. Perfect, such a good job. Yeah, can I do that one? 30 seconds and we got to take them out and put them on the tray. Can I take them out? Sure. Stops dripping. That's good. Over on the chair. Just like that. Perfect. It's slipping. <laughs> yeah, all right. Go. Huh? <gasps> Oven's preheated. Alright, let me drop the next one in. All of our squares. Put them in and I'll flip them over. <laughs> yeah, is that one mine? Mm-hmm. Ow. I wonder why it looks 
looks weird. <laughs> it doesn't look weird. Okay, then. That's no, me. it doesn't. It looks beautiful like you. A little weird and a little beautiful, just like you. And that's a good thing. Weird is good. Sprinkle salt on those over there. <sighs> Don't be spitting all over. <laughs> hey, one sprinkle some salt on them bristles over there. Yeah. So when they come out of your water, you can do it pretty much right away, or you can wait. They're gonna be kind of damp. But you want to sprinkle them at this point with your coarse salt. That's good. Here, I'll hold it. Mom, do you want me to put them on flippies real quick? Okay, you can see I'm not setting a timer. I'm just kind of about 30 seconds. I'm going to get you spread it all around. Save some for these three, yeah? <laughs> All right, here comes the ones out of the water. Here we go. There's one. There's two. Yeah, girl, use it all up. There's three. Spread it around, use it up. Yeah, I just dumped it all in my well, hand. Well, whatever you need to do, just spread it around. And make sure each one of these is covered real good, and then I got to go in the oven. Okay. A little bit more oxygen. Well, <clears throat> Woo! Too much salt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. I think you can get these up here now. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of them's gonna be a little salty. That's a little, little salty. Little salty right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, quit putting them on that back one. Oh my God. There's like nine pounds of salt between these two. <laughs> I love it. All right. Hop down. Move your stool so we can get these bad boys in the oven. They go in there for eight to ten minutes. I'm going to set a timer for eight minutes. And holy, that's some heat. And check them out then. Timer. Hang on, baby. Eight minutes. Timer. In the meantime, I told you I did a second batch. This thing got salt all over the table. That's okay. <laughs> so, let's see if we can't make some uh, pretzel buns here real quick. What do you say, Belle? Okay. And that way they can be resting while these are cooking. Okay? Turn this bad boy off. And let's pray I can do this without burning myself. Oh, they're hot. Oh, they're hot. Oh, they're hot. They're hot. Oh, my goodness. Tell me those don't look delicious. Oh, my God. Okay. Ready, Belly, to try a pretzel? Yeah. Get my wits about me here. Tell me those don't look delicious. All right, get your pretzel off there that you want to try. I'm going to try mine. Okay. Is mine that one? That one. Yep. Yeah. That's that. This, what I did was I took a little bit of Velveeta cheese because I had a little bit in there. You're just having a little, and a little bit of half and half. I'm having mine right there. And warmed it up. I'm having mine. You're going to have yours? You're going to wait on me? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to rip it open. Let's see. I think that one. No, that one's oh, mine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to dip mine in cheese. 
because, oh my goodness, look at that. Go. Mm -mm. Kind of hard to bite because my loose tooth. Because you're loose tooth. <laughs> I'm gonna take. Can't take a part. Definitely a little too much salt for my tasting. Papa's gonna love it though. It's really good. It's bit. really good with cheese. Pull, bite him. Pull, pull. Your poor little loose teeth. Both of her front teeth are loose. So it's hard for her to bite. That's good, huh? Oh yeah, oh, I almost got my hair in your food again. <laughs> mm. I'm excited to see how that these... One. I yeah. know, it exploded. <laughs> I'm excited to see how these turn out. Maybe I'll get a little glimpse this evening and put it in here at the end of the video. Because I had some Pardon me. I had some um, leftover pulled pork that I froze. And I thought, oh, let's do some pretzel buns. That'd be good. So, that's what we did today. I am going to sit here and devour this whole pretzel and probably half of this cup of cheese. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, share. Don't forget to subscribe. 200. I still can't get over it. Thank you so much, friends and family, close by and around the world. Until next time, as always, have a great day. Well, babe, how was the first time pretzel buns? Excellent. Goes perfect with the barbecue.